Hello, dear Virgo. How are you? This is Kathy from Divine Debut. Thank you so much for being here. This is a general and love reading, and I'm looking into the whole month of November. Thank you so much for being here, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Happy Halloween and happy full moon in Taurus. Happy uh, full moon and on a blue moon which is very rare and very powerful. I do hope that you're all doing well, dear Virgo. Let's see what's going on. What are the energies that you're working with in the month of November as your ruling planet Mercury will be moving direct at the beginning of the month? So let's see for Virgo, please, Spirit. What's going on for Virgo generally and in love? Virgo, I will be doing a specific... Uh, reading on love as well so look out for that so Virgo please spirit let's have a look through a Celtic cross this time Virgo and what's Virgo dealing with in the month of November in the now we have the four of cups so Virgo is not happy your challenge is the five of swords Wow your challenge is to go through this battle to do the work you've got the upper hand you've got the intelligence you've got the logic but it is a challenge for you Virgo as you don't want that you want peace and tranquility but unfortunately you're gonna to have to go through this five of swords you do have the gift of intelligence you've got the gift of speech and logic and all things that could bring you into a chance to stabilize something in your home. Four of Cups is usually an offer that's not accepted because here we've got external, we've got too many people in the picture with a Five of Swords. That's how I see that. What's the seed? What's the seed for Virgo? What has been planted is that we've got the Four of Pentacles here. This is the deep past, right? So fours, another four. Virgo wants something long-term. Virgo is waiting on something. Virgo wants safety, security in finances, in love. But there's things, there's an imbalance here with the Five of Swords. Maybe you don't believe in your intelligence, in your ability. Four of Pentacles, something long-term, something to do with a home, a family. Recent past, we've got the Five of Cups. So this is a card of disappointment, of course. Four of Cups, Five of Cups. So there's been there's been difficulty here for Virgo, obviously. Emotionally, Virgo is not happy. Let's see what is crowning you. We've got the Seven of Wands. You've got a lot of situations people that are against what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to build on. Again, I'm going to say you've got the upper hand. It's up to you. You need to go for your desires. Don't let that fire burn out, fizzle out. What's in the near future? We've got the Six of Cups. So we've got the Four, Five and Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. Some of you could have children if this is a romantic connection that you are mourning. Some of you may share children with a past commitment or this is a soulmate uh, where there's been competition, whether the, the competition is on your side or on the other side. Remember that the Six of Cups is a card of innocence. It's looking back at the days. This could be a long-lasting connection from the past. What, what is going on in the position of Virgo? Virgo is stopped, not moving. Virgo is stuck. As we, This is the Virgo card. Knight of Pentacles, you're in the process of planning here. That's what I see. Planning for the future. What is surrounding you? Whoever you're dealing with, there's a lot of stress here, a lot of worry. Lack of sleep. The other person is dealing with a lot. Nine of Swords is in your environment. Are you dealing with an air sign, dear Virgo? We've got water, we've got air, we've got fire, we've got everything here. What's your hopes and fears? 
Seven of Pentacles. Not one major arcana yet, Virgo. Seven of Pentacles, your hopes and fears is you, you're still, I mean, you're hoping for something, but there's no movement here. No movement until you can get the green light. It doesn't look like you can see that, but you're practically, practically at the end of this challenge, whatever this is for you. What's the outcome? And we've got the hanging man. Wow. Wow. And I'm going to say for those of you that are born around uh, 12th, 13th and 14th of September, um, you have Neptune right across. This is the card of Pisces and Neptune. So there is a lot of confusion, especially for those of you that are born on those days. Now, the hanging man does speak of sacrifice. It speaks of waiting again, waiting, waiting. Now, Virgo, you are very patient. I don't know how long you've been waiting, but you do hold a very strong patient persona. You look at the details. You're looking for that. Some of you are up at night, could be looking for the answers. The hanging man needs to change their perspective. This could also be connecting to spirit, remember. But there is a lot of confusion here. What's at the bottom of the deck? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you have just been working and working. This is the general energy. Again, it's the Virgo card. This could be something around work as well, not only love. Remember that the Six of Cups means this is like a collaboration. Could be working with a soulmate, working closely with someone that feels like a soulmate. Soulmate can be a family member, could be a friend. Interesting, we've got one major arcana. What's at the bottom? We've got the Strength card. So again, courage, trust, patience. Virgo has been busy working, trying to manifest something, trying to plan something. We've got a lot of pentacles. We've got a lot of pentacles. So some of you may be dealing with another earth sign. Now, Pisces is your seventh house of relationships. Relationships can be romantic. They can be business. They can be family. What's beneath that? We've got the Queen of Wands. So something that you are creating or something that you desire this is my Leo card, so could some of you be dealing with a Leo? Could be. Or some of you are on the cusp, you've got personal planets in Leo. Remember that the Queen of Wands is someone very creative. And we've got the lovers here, so Virgo has needed to make a choice between one, one partner and another. Or it's head over heart decision. You may be seeking answers from Archangel Michael. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael if he could give us clarity. So let's see how the um, planets, how the stars are helping or hindering Virgo in November. Thank you, please, Spirit. And we do have the day of Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel on November 8th. So, so please, Spirit... For Virgo, what's going on with Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, and North Node. Here we go. Thank you, dear spirit. And we have South Node and Life's Deaths. Wow. Virgo, you have to release something. The Hanging Man is also the ending of a karmic chapter. South Node means something fated, something that is very familiar with you, to you. You've got something that you need to release. It's a 42, which equals a 6. Remember that the south node is something to do with the past, with a past lifetime. It's where you're coming from if you believe in uh, reincarnation. And life debts, this could mean that it's time to release now. It's time to excrete. It's time to shed that old weight. Okay. Let's see what's going on in your love life. With the lover's path tarot. You are dealing with something very karmic, dear Virgo. South node is very karmic. And we know it's fate. Virgo. We have one card. 
Thank you, please, Spirit. A couple more cards for Virgo. Virgo in the month of November. And, yes, these two cards, I would say. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. We have the Nine of Swords twice, Virgo. Twice. So I know that Virgo is because you use your left brain, you are mercurial, you have been thinking so much. A lot of you are having trouble sleeping at night where love is concerned. Now we've got the Page of Cups, which can be a small offer of love, unexpected, but this can also mean an apology. Okay, we've got more Piscean energy here. So this is, Pisces is your love house. It's your relationship house. And we have the Four of Wands. Wow. Four of Wands is a marriage card. So some of you may be needing to release release a marriage where someone hasn't been treating you correctly. There's a lot of worry with that Nine of Swords. Some of you may be accepting uh, an apology, may not be accepting an apology and moving on. We'll see with more cards. But also, Four of Wands, because it was the last card that I opened, this could be an offer of love that you've been hoping for. Now, you may be dealing with someone that has got their own south node that they need to excrete, let go of past karma. I do feel that there is a karmic situation here that's been hindering Virgo. Now, four of uh, wands does mean celebration. For Virgo, please, spirit. This is uh, very similar to the La Vera Sibila. And these cards um, speak a different story. They paint a different picture. Thank you, Spirit. We have gladness, happiness, right? We have amore and love. And we also have the doctor, which means healing. So it's interesting because we've got the Four of Cups twice and um, Four of Cups always means for me it's like an offer that was not accepted at some point because of external circumstances, other people, another commitment, other commitments generally. But I do see here that there is happiness coming through. You have put up with a lot. Now there may also have been trust issues here. But there will be healing here through connection, through understanding that there needs to be equal giving and receiving. And love speaks of unconditional and a lot of sacrifice that comes with true love, right? The hanging man, remember, is also Pisces. Pisces can mean a clandestine relationship. It could mean a spiritual connection as well. Let's take more cards and see what else is going on. And I will be taking one card from the Gaia Oracle at the end of the reading. So why do we have the Four of Cups here in the now? We've got two, wow, three cards. We've got the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Devil. So there is the karmic sandwich. What I mean is that karma stands in between this love relationship and your wish fulfillment or this connection, whatever it is, it could also be a work connection. Remember that the devil is restrictions, limitations, but it's also karma. It's all about timing um, and it's all about fear as well. Fear, the fear of the fear of this immense attraction as we know that the devil can also mean they're a very powerful very powerfully sexual um magnetizing connection so it, this energy could also fear uh bring fear to people okay and remember that it's 
it's a connection that is difficult to break from. So this can mean narcissism. This can mean a strong hold. Someone is holding on to you, Virgo, not letting go, or you're doing that to someone else, or it's all about timing. Let's have a look at the challenge. Why do we have the Five of Swords in the challenge? And we've got the star. And the star is Aquarius. It is a wish fulfillment. We've got two cards of wish fulfillment. As long as, as long as the limitations of Capricorn here in Virgo, there is a lot going on in Capricorn for you, which logically would be bringing you into something long term. Remember that uh, Capricorn is also hard work. It's limitations, but it asks for growth. It asks for maturity. And we've got nine of cups and two of cups. That's 11 plus the four if we count with the four of cups beneath. That's 15 cups. Again, the devil. What is this four of pentacles in, in the foundation? This is the seed of your reading. And we've got the page of swords. So something to do with communication, truth, speaking truthfully and not holding on to information, not holding on to, you could be dealing with someone that has not, that has the fear of speaking their truth about their their emotions and how they truly feel about you. Now, because the star card is in the challenge, you could be dealing with someone that is at a distance. The star can mean social media, can mean the internet, but it's also got to do with truth, not being frightened of speaking the truth. As you could see, the star, she's in her birth suit. Let's see what fell through here. And we've got the Ace of Swords. Again, truth, severing ties with what has been holding you back, dear Virgo. But we know this is the sword of victory here. So speaking the truth or severing ties if there has been no truth. In relation to a home, yes, we've got the four of pentacles. Remember, fours are always home. What's that five of cups? And we've got the high priestess. So again, secrets. Secrets with the high priestess. She's the moon goddess. Confusion where your relationships are concerned, Virgo. But this is also very spiritual. Take a, Let's take another card. We've got the Two of Wands. Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is that door opening. It's also using passion and fire to move forward. There has been a lockdown and we've got the Six of Swords here. So this is physical travel. This is also leaving troubles behind and having made a decision to move forward. Some of you don't need to tell everyone what you're planning. A high priestess says, hold on to your secrets. Hold on to what you intuitively feel you are called to do. Let's take that eight of pentacles, which is the general energy. We have the strength card. Wow. Keep working at what you're working, Virgo. Let's take one more. And we've got the Page of Cups again. Wow. Again, the Page of Cups. Someone is trying to find the confidence to come through and apologize, to come through and offer their cup of love. They're going to come through in a childish way, in a fun, a loving way. Let's see what you're up against here in the crowning position. We have the King of Pentacles, which is my Taurus card, does not have to be. King of Pentacles is usually a father. King of Pentacles is someone usually very dependable, someone who loves, who loves to um, feel safe and secure in their finances. This could be a boss. This could also mean that money is coming through after hard work. Let's take another card. And we've got the world card. And the world card can mean an ending, a successful ending to a karmic cycle. 
This is where you go to the bank. You could be connected romantically to a king of pentacles. That maybe has had a lot that they're dealing with if they have fire in their chart as well. This could be someone that's very successful, but now they're up against a lot where business is concerned. Let's have a look at the Six of Cups. And we have the Two of Swords. Again, a blind decision. And we've got the Five of Pentacles. So where a soulmate connection is concerned, we do have someone making a choice. Okay, someone making a choice and needing to believe that this connection is a very divine, very goes back a long time, could be from a past lifetime. Both parties could be suffering financially here as well, or they don't believe in this one, one of the parties does not believe that this is a soulmate connection. They're having trouble believing that. Let's take another card as someone needs to change the way they're seeing things. And we've got the Hermit, the Virgo. This is your energy here. Okay, someone is looking for the answers. This could be someone looking for information um, that is missing. The Hermit is someone who is wise. This could be someone very spiritual. The Hermit is getting ready to come out of his or her cave. As I said, there's a very spiritual connection. We've got the High Priestess and the Hermit. Let's have a look at the Knight of Pentacles. And this could be this could be Virgo looking for the answers through spiritual means. Let's look at the position of you, Virgo. And we've got the Seven of Cups. There's that Neptunian energy again. Confusion, lack of clarity. We've got the Six of Cups and the Seven, and the Five here. Let's take another card here on the position of you. And we've got the Lovers. So many decisions, dear Virgo. We know that the lovers is a blessed union, okay? It's a blessed union, very powerful. We've got the two of cups and the lovers. So Virgo is making a choice between two. As Virgo has felt left out in the cold, maybe financially, maybe spiritually, maybe emotionally. Let's have a look at that nine of swords which is in your environment. And we've got the full card. So someone is worried about taking a leap of faith. This is Aries energy. I would say more than likely after the 14th of November, there will be the indication that someone's willing to take that risk. To go on that journey, this could be a literal journey. Let's have a look at your hopes and fears, Virgo. And we've got the King of Swords. So we've got two kings. You're either hoping for clarity, communication, and if you are dealing with the King of Pentacles who's got a, who's been cold, someone who is looking at the situation hasn't had the, um, the courage to speak, this could be that he is ready now to speak, or for those of you that are choosing between two, we've got an Aquarius and we've got a, an earth sign here, more than likely a Taurus. Let's have a look at the Piscean energy. I feel that the Pisces is mainly your energy, Virgo. We have Judgment. So we've got Scorpio here. This is a resurrection. This is Archangel Michael saying that there is help on the way. Okay, there is unconditional love coming through. There's a spiritual connection coming through that is resurrecting. Its spirit is breathing life into this connection again. Again, which means you're dealing with someone from the past. Uh, someone from the past, meaning could be a connection from a past lifetime, could be a soulmate, twin flame. Let's take another card. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles means that someone, and this is Virgo again. Virgo, some of you may need to be single 
for a bit as we've got the nine of pentacles remember wow nine of pentacles what's missing from your life is the ace of pentacles which is what the king of pentacles is holding what is at the bottom of the deck we've got the tower this is uranus in taurus this full moon this blue moon will be showing you something in the next couple of weeks dear virgo the tower is also Scorpio, so we've got strong Scorpio, Taurus. This is where the full moon is taking place. There you are, dear Virgo. You are the queen of pentacles. Beneath that is the three of cups, which can be a reconciliation. It can also speak of three people in a story. And we've got the chariot, which means this is the victory card. You move forward. Some of you have been hoping to move closer to reconciliate, cover the distance if you are at a distance, overcome obstacles, and we've got justice card here, which means connection, karmic justice, Libra, relationships, knight of wands, distance, going the distance. Wow, dear Virgo. Wow. I'm going to take one card on each card on each of the kings king of pentacles we've got the seven of swords which means stealth which can mean intelligence which can also mean have not having communicated everything truthfully okay i want to take a card now on the king of swords and we have the hierophant which is taurus We've got the Hierophant and the High Priestess, a spiritual connection. Also, this could be communication about a marriage, about commitments, or the lack thereof, because I do see someone is single here. Let's take the World card. And we've got the Emperor. Wow. And the Emperor is very karmic. It is someone having grown, having learned the lessons. The Emperor is Aries energy, it's Taurus as well for me. Aries mainly, Aries is a brand new cycle. It's the warrior coming through. Okay, so what I'm going to do, dear Virgo, is I'm going to take Twin Flame Messages from Mystic Moon. I'd like to take two messages on each of the kings. Now, we've got two kings and a emperor. As I said, king of swords. I've, some of you have been married with a, an, an Aquarius. Could have someone, could have strong Capricorn. May also have Taurus. And this could be the same person. Yes, king of pentacles and the king of... Uh, King of Swords could be the same person, and we've also got an Emperor, Virgo. That is a person, that is someone that is older. Someone that's quite narcissistic, very similar, very similar to the Devil card. Wow, okay, so two cards fell out. I was going to take on the King of Pentacles first, let's take them. We have, I can still feel you, I miss you regardless of how things seem. Two cards. I can still feel you. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Let's take a couple of cards on the King of Swords. Don't forget that the Emperor is also a number four. So, King of Swords, please, Spirit. We have something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. And we also have, I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. So, De Virgo, I will leave these messages to you. Each person is on a different wavelength. So take the messages as they resonate for you. For Virgo, please, Spirit, what is the message for Virgo November? Someone is paying 
be a karmic debts. Could be both people. Could be three people here that are paying their karmic debts. But remember that the tower, for me, it's Uranus moving through Taurus. It's also Scorpio, which means transformation. So, dear Virgo, even where money is concerned, this could mean fluctuation and sudden changes where your money is concerned. Okay, because Taurus is in a beautiful connection with Virgo. Okay, okay so Virgo, please, Spirit, what is the message for Virgo? No, that message did, want, did not want to come through. So for Virgo, please, Archangel Michael, Virgo and November. Virgo and November, thank you. We've got two cards. We have healing and evolution. Earth changes, climate change, transformation. That's also Uranus in Taurus. Evolution is a 45, which equals a 9, the Hermit. So your life is evolving. You're going through a transformation, no doubt. You've got the Judgment card here. And we have healing, reconnecting with your true nature. So that's coming into purity dear Virgo coming into yourself this is a 33 which is a master number okay so nine yeah we cannot add up our uh, master number so it's 45 equals a nine nine and 33 is 42 and 42 adds up to a 6, which again is the lovers. It's uh, Gemini. Sixes always speak of balance and harmony. All right, dear Virgo, I think I will leave it there. I'm going to wish you healing. I'm going to wish you love. You do have the Amore card here. And I do see happiness as well. I do f even just through these three cards, okay, through these three cards right there. I do see that it's going to be a happy month. Okay, it's not easy. You've got the Nine of Swords twice. It's going to be a happy month, but you're going through healing where love is concerned, where relationships are concerned. Okay, the doctor brings healing. You are protected. So thank you again, dear Virgo. Much love, much light. Talk to you soon.